Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to everyone who is here in the sanctuary and everyone who's joining us via Zoom this morning. It's great to have all of us be able to gather like this. And welcome back, Rob. <laughs> so <laughs> it is great to hear you to hear you and to have you here with us for these weeks. So thanks so much, Rob. Um, so today, as the final segment of our service, um, we will have our annual meeting in Carroll Hall. So you'll notice if you look ahead in the order of service, our, our blessing and dismissal will be at the end of our meeting. You'll also see that um, we go from the... Um, from the gospel reading into the Nicene Creed, we will be having our, our sermon given by the people of St. Mark's as we go through our annual report and all of um, that we have to share of our life together. So that will be uh, the gospel that is spoken and shared today. Um, as I mentioned at the eight o'clock in, in the words of St. Francis of Assisi, preach the gospel at all times, if necessary, use words. Um, so it is in our life together um, that we will offer our, our gospel um, sermon today. Uh, just a couple other notes. We have uh, church school in classroom three. We also have child care for our pre-K and younger children um, that is being offered in classroom five. Uh, this Wednesday, we have an evening prayer service at 6 p.m. that is both in person and, in, um, and via Zoom. So there's more information on that in the e-news. Um, next Sunday, believe it or not, will be our last Sunday after the Epiphany, and that we will be offering our Sunday Gras festive coffee hour following. Um, so please be sure to wear your beads and your masks, and we will have a very festive um, coffee hour for that. And also we'll, we'll have... Um, a fun activity for the kids to participate in as we prepare for Lent and then Easter. Uh, also next Sunday at, um, at 11.30 in, um, in Classroom 3, 
we will be having an introductory gathering for anyone who is interested in joining us for our Sunday Lenten Advent. Um, oh, good Lord, deliver us. Lent, we're only in Lent. We are only in Lent. <laughs> our Sunday Lenten Adult Forum series. Um, we will be following the book, Will You? this year and it is looking at the baptismal promises um, that we make whenever we have a baptism here or a confirmation so it'll be an in-depth look um, and conversation around our baptismal promises so if you are interested in purchasing a book um, we have some copies here and um, and if you'd like to join us, please join us at 1130 next Sunday to find out more about that. Also, um, Ash Wednesday will be the 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, so we will have a noon service and a 730 p.m. service. And um, we'll also be having Father Jim's Thursday evening Lenten series um, beginning on February 15th, and that'll be on Zoom. Um, and then just a reminder about communion. All are invited to come forward to God's table to receive uh, the bread and the wine. If you would like to receive the wine, we are just not in tincting at this time. We are not dipping the bread into the wine. Um, if you would like to receive the wine, you may drink directly from the chalice or reverently touch the base of the chalice. We are just not in tincting. Um, and also this Thursday, before I forget, uh, there will be a special poetry reading this Thursday at the library. And Artie and Jeanette Adams will be two of the readers, and it's reading um, the poet, some of the poems of the Harlem Renaissance. Um, so there's more information on the TNEC website, the library website, and in our e-news as well. So I just want to give them a shout out for that. So, um, so again, thank you all for joining us this morning. Um, and now please stand for our opening hymn.
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. And the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to live in who brings princes to naught and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows upon them and they wither and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me or who is my equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see. Who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name. Because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Christ. After Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. 
He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. And remaining standing, let us say together the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and the Father and the Son who worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the God of compassion who heals the broken and binds up their wounds. By the wedding of the human and divine natures of Jesus Christ. We do to you, a living God. For all who minister in Christ and for all the holy people of God, especially Michael, our presiding bishop, Carly, our bishop, and Joan and Jim, our priests. Glory and praise to you, O living God. For all believers who put their trust in the incarnate Son of God. Glory and praise to you, O living God. For the light of justice among all peoples, we pray for an end of hostilities in the Middle East, Ukraine, and Sudan. Glory and praise to you, O living God. For all those in danger and need, the sick and the suffering, the hungry, homeless, and the oppressed, and all those on St. Mark's prayer list and prayer chain. Glory and praise to you, O living God. We give special thanks for the lives and ministries of our parish leadership, as well as those who are celebrating birthdays this week, especially Lauren, Milagros, Jane, Nick, Juliana, Jalen, Jack, Anne-Marie, Eileen, Barbara, and Joan, and the anniversary of Jody and Kimberly. Glory and praise to you, O living God. For all the departed, especially Suzanne and Elsie. We pray also for the hundreds of individuals who lost their lives because of the senseless use of guns. Dentrell Smith, East St. Louis, Illinois. Kimberly Parsons, Mansfield, Ohio. Spencer Barty and Dominic Swan, Richmond, Virginia. Tommy Anderson III, West Palm Beach, Florida. 
William Strain, Montgomery, Alabama. Stephen McConnell, age 15, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Elena Lee Ross, age six, Dallas, Texas. Allison Appling, France, Cleveland, Ohio. Christina Kenyon, <clears throat> Ashtabula, Ohio. <clears throat> Shakia Stewart, Greenwood, Mississippi. <clears throat> Samuel Oliver, Avon, Indiana. Jonathan Cornell Connell, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And Alicia Cease, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Glory and praise to you, O living God. Dear people of God, what else or whom else should we pray for? For all those who are grieving, for all who are living in the midst of fear and violence. Joining our voices with all creation, with Mark, our patron, and all the saints and angels, let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ. To our Lord, our God. Christ, you endured violent suffering to bring us light. We pray for the dead. May they rest in peace. We pray for the wounded. May they find healing. We pray for our nation. May we end the hate. We pray for our global family. May we learn we are one. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, you cure the sick and raise the dead. Hear our fervent prayers and enable us to proclaim your gospel through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins for our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, <clears throat> do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. <clears throat> our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrifice for us. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 
the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 of
body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Before we continue with our post-communion prayer, I just want to um, just say again that for the end of our service, um, we will have our prayer together. We will sing um, our hymn together with our choir and our altar party in place here. And then following the singing of that hymn, um, Rob is gracious enough to play some um, music music for us to move into the parish hall, into Carroll Hall. Um, so the, um, Ava will, will lead us, the choir, the altar party, and we invite everyone to process into Carroll Hall where there are sandwiches and snacks and, um, and beverages awaiting everyone in there and where we will, um, we invite everyone to grab, grab a plate, grab a seat, and we will begin our annual meeting. So, um, so just a note. So now let us stand please for our post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen.